everyone. Yes, a very good evening to you. It's the launch of a brand new one day special and you're in for a treat. I can assure you of that. It's all about crafting yourself silly. We've got a brand new Fabazine for you. In fact, we've got a whole collection for the one day special. It's two for one really. Well, not two for one, but two in the one day special. In fact, you've got 20 individual projects throughout the two Fabazines in the one day special. We have got lots of details. We've got lots of savings. We've got lots of products, lots of demonstrations. But before we go ahead with any of that, shall we say good evening to our Hayley? Hello, Hiya. Hayley. <laughs> Just <laughs> you look very absorbed in what you were doing then. <laughs> it's because I've got there's so much to do. Because with the fab scenes, there's always uh, loads and loads of projects in, and to try and get all twenty done over five shows. Wow, it's well, for we an hour. So we've got to get a skate on, Catherine. It is right. Let's do that. <laughs> we've got a whole full of different products here our projects because if you're looking at the Fabazine itself the projects work out at just three pounds and 75 pence each that really is incredible value now we're going to start right off with the first project here this is the pyramid now you can go for projects individually have a look at the bottom of the screen that's where you'll see the details but think about the price i've just told you if you break this down if you're going for the fabazine itself the incredible value that you're going to get so let's have a look at our wonderful pyramid then Haley. so tell me a bit, little bit about this one so this one is actually for a tablet so oh. it's to hold your tablet while you're um you know watching it or maybe you know you're doing something and you're crafting and you've got an instructions going on over here and you're doing something over there but it's um it's obviously a little pyramid shape and we've made it into a proper pyramid so there's all kinds of kind of the uh, egyptian symbols and hieroglyphics on there um, and the sparkly the sparkly top's been added by one of our lovely design team um, <laughs> but so the sparkly top doesn't come with it but it is on there so you can decorate it if you want to and she's added lots of uh, nice embroidery to this one as well. Amazing, amazing. Just the first project that we're going to show you. We're going to continue down the counter because, of course, there's much more to come as well. Now, individually, remember, bottom of the screen, if you want these items, but the value is in the one day special. I mean, even individually, the projects are not expensive for what they are. They're not, I mean, they're, they're certainly they're not. They're quite big projects. So yeah. individually, they're not expensive for what they are, but when you put them all together, that's yeah. when you get that kind of added value because the way that we do it is we print the panels ourselves which means that rather than having to print a, a panel with so much waste around it for each individual one all of those bits that would be waste we fill in with an extra yeah, project totally. and that's how we can bring that amazing value and it's not just about the fabric panels as you will see as we continue down the counter oh, i do like these next items actually we've got the little coasted for coasters for you look at this the watermelon We've got the lime here. Oh, the stitching really brings out the detail as well, Hayley, on these. Yes, Slice again, another uh, fantastic design team member's done these and super, super cute and added some extra detail with the stitching just to really make them come alive as well. So there's orange, lime, lemon, watermelon, kiwi and apple in there. Oh, these are fab. These would be great outside on your patio if you're yeah. having a bit of a summer party or something. Um, but likewise inside as well. So that's our project number two, part of the Fabazine again. Let's f go down the counter because we've got more fun items as well. Now the next one, we've got a little toasted pin cushion. And you've got your little roll to keep your threads in as well, So Hayley. the toadstool pin cushion, that actually uses an old bobbin. I can so if you take the underneath. top off, it's ah. a separate top, <laughs> and you get the um, MDF circle in there so it's the right size, and um, you get the little bit of wraps around it, and then that just slots in the top, and away you go. Oh, that is so So if you sweet. did want to use just the toadstool top bit on your current bobbin of thread, then you could do, uh, but there is the little wrap that goes around if you want to have it as a, a kind of decorative thing in its own right. Look at the little ladybirds there as well. <laughs> I'm just showing you. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, and you actually get two of these within the Fabazine as well because, again, I had a little bit of space. And that's the way that we work with Fabazines. If we've got a little bit of space, we will put extra projects in there. So you get enough to make two of these. Um, and you also that. get that little bobbin roll up as well. So if you open that out, um, there's enough to fit. Now I couldn't. I had supposed to have white ribbon on this, and I couldn't find mine, so I had to use a, 
a blue one which I wasn't quite as happy with because oh, it's a bit wow. thicker and it, it doesn't tie up as tightly as I'd like. But the one that you've got in there is a three mil satin ribbon and it yeah. ties much tighter, so it's much better. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of felt in there, so you'll be able to kind of keep a couple of needles yeah. in there. And it'll either fit one of those large bobbins, as you saw in there, or it will fit two of your smaller standard 100 yard, 100 meter ones side by side. Do you know that is such a good idea because I would keep that in my bag, you know, so like or a just travel you know, kit. Put it in the bag, put it in the car, something yeah, like that. It's just kind of quick fix jobs. Love it. Love it. Well, let's keep going because we've got more for you as well. We've got the Russian doll doorstop. I need a doorstop. Now, this one isn't actually weighted, but you could no, weight this. No, that one isn't weighted um, because it's got to come through the post back to us from our lovely design team. And if they put the heavy oh, things in, it costs more to post it. Uh, but you can obviously put weight to the bottom. I think Claire's done this one and um, she's actually put a lot of embroidery on the kind of paisley design that makes the outside of it. That works very well. Again, she's got a very smiley face as well. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Now, the next item, I did say, watch out, it's not just about those fabric panels because with no, this one... No, we always put a couple in there where you can add your own bits to it. So this one is the sundial template and uh, Josh designed this one for us. And there's three pieces in there. It's just the template you get. You don't get the fabric yeah. as well, but there are a couple of um, samples that we have had made up. And we do actually have this fabric on the show if you do want it. It's the um, Sparkle Blender. It's very nice, actually, that because of that brought. bit of sparkle. We can see the table runner or the wall hanging there as well. I've also got a little bag here, which you can see the sparkle in that fabric. Absolutely beautiful design. But just spin this around, you can see a different colour on there as well on the and back. And it's really cleverly designed as well, because um, is lovely. one of the shapes is the same shape, but it's a kind of mirror reflection of itself. So what Josh has done is put, you can see three and four on the template there. Yeah. Now, you can see one's the right way around and one's the wrong way around. So when you've got the three so it looks like a three, that's the right way up. And if you flip it over to the four, which is ah. currently backwards, is then looking like a proper four, yeah. then that's the way you need to cut it out. Oh, how clever. Now, is there a film on those? Is there a film on those? There Hayley? is. Yeah. I've just pulled one side off just so you could kind of see the shapes more clearly on camera. But yours will be completely clear. You can pull front and back off. And then you've also got the little hole in the top. So if Perfect. you want to add them together with um, like a little ring or something to keep them all together in their set, then you can. Very, very useful indeed. Now we've got the mannequin lanyard and the embroidered doodle that's a mouthful isn't it it really <laughs> is um, so uh, the embroidered doodle is one that we do you know quite a lot of and we always put an embroidery piece in there as well because it's nice to kind of mix up the skills and that's what fabazine is all about so this one is a lovely kind of mandala style pattern and another again fantastic effort from one of our design team there and then the little lanyards there as well and that's got a little pocket on it so you can kind of pop it around your neck put a few if you want to put a bit of um, batting or wadding in there you can use it as a little pin cushion or if you've got a little pair of scissors that are like you know the, the small ones you do threads with yeah you can pop that's them in very there handy well. isn't it and those beautiful threads included as well wow that's almost two in one there yes it is although well, you can it as one if well we, yeah well no, it is two projects because what we tend to do is if they're two smaller projects like the toadstool and the little um, uh, thread holder roll yeah. thing, we will group a couple together just to make it so they, you know, otherwise we'd be here all day. It's well, to save yeah. you time as well as me. Let's <laughs> move on then. Maybe that's her, um, Hayley's way of saying, come on, Catherine, get a move on. <laughs> now this <laughs> next We've got item. millions of demos <laughs> to do. <laughs> I really, I, I'm taken with this one. Okay. I really so think this is clever. That one actually hasn't even got its handle on yet. And that's one we're going to do, I'm hoping, in the eight o'clock hour. Uh, it depends. I've got two more bits to cut out, so I'll see how much time I've got. Because I've got a, a craft along to get in as well tonight so we'll see we'll see how we get on um, and this one's really cute it kind of forms in a certain way so it kind of always has those kind of overlapping pockety bits and all kind of creates that tulip shape i found the handle oh there the there handle. it is not been on yet. there it is that is such a good idea though many pockets just to tuck your scissors and bits and pieces in again not necessarily for sewing that could be used for all sorts of Absolutely. different things could be used the everyday bag if you want love to. it Love it. Now we've got the water bottle holder next. Now this is unusual. You've well, got lots of nice pleating on this done one. done is used a kind of pleating technique. So when you pleat it, you kind of sew them all in one direction. So you put all those folds in 
and then you sew them all in one direction. Then you flip them all over ah. and sew them in the other direction, and it creates that kind of twisted effect. That looks really good, doesn't it? Which very nice. So that might be a really technique somebody's cute. doing for the very first time as well, which yeah. is lovely. Yeah. Love it. Let's keep going though. Now we've got the painter's pouch next. Now you have a mini version behind I you. This do. is one of our uh, prototype ones. Okay, you've got and a full version over there, exactly haven't you? Exactly the same way. But what we did was we made it way larger than this. So we made it bigger so that you could actually tuck um, an A5 book in there as oh. well as the pocket. So. Not necessarily in that bottom pocket, but if yeah. you look up to the next one where there's a little, that this one, one, you can actually pop a, a book into there because I've got a much, much bigger version, which is what we're going to work on. And that's the first project that we're going to do. And there's a zip pocket as well. Amazing. I'm holding this horizontal for our camera so it's a bit easier. But you can see there, you've got that paintbrush. Remember, this is smaller than the one that you're going to get. This is the prototype. We'll see the larger one with Hayley. It's that different colour as well, which I've got to say, I love the blues and pinks together. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. I thought there was quite a lot of orange in it already with the, the um, pyramid and the water bottle cover. There was already quite a bit of orange and yellow, so I took the orange and yellow out oh, and, and made it more pink and blue. Thank Lovely. You. We'll see more of that. Now, this is interesting as well. What is this, Hayley? So, this is to go over the armrest oh, of I your see. sofa. So, yeah. the um, pin cushion that's in the middle there, that's optional. So, if you just, if you didn't want to use it for, um, uh, for sewing things, then you could just, that's added on last. So, you yeah. can just leave that off. Now, um, our design team members added a bit of vice binding around the edge of hers just to make it more fancy, but uh, yours you'll just fold it and top stitch it so you can see all of that, more of that fantastic design that's on the end of it. Beautiful fabrics in there as well, absolutely gorgeous. So there's another wonderful project for you. We've got one more at the end of the that's counter in the right zips. now. That's actually in the zips one, Catherine. This is in the zips one, so right, okay. What we'll do then, because you are within the one day special going to get the Fabazine number eight and you're going to get the zips as well. We are getting very busy for this. There are 12 projects within the Fabazine. There are another eight within the zips. So the one that's at the end of the counter, uh, we will look at shortly amongst others as well. Remember, these work out at just three pounds and 75 pence per project. You are getting an enormous amount of product here. We've got zips, we've got panels, we've got acrylic, we've got threads, we've got we've got tape oh there's so many wonderful things to look at here now we are very busy let me show you in a second all these zip ideas as well because of course as the one day special you are getting this included as well now the very first one I'm going to show you you probably can't tell what it's going to be at the moment when we look at the panel but if I just reach across here this is so so cute can I open this Hayley? yes you can so it's an egg but what's inside the egg? It's an egg. Oh, what is inside there? What's hatching? Oh, it's a dinosaur in an no. egg. <laughs> it's egg, but oh. I didn't forgot to put his eyes in, but it's, oh. it's okay. <laughs> oh, that is so, so sweet. Oh, and you could add more detail if you wanted to as well. You could even use fabric paints and things on it, yes, couldn't you? Yes, you could. So you can, um, he's kind of left quite plain, so you can have a bit of a play with him. So you can, you know, add oh. your, uh, your pens and your paints to it and add a bit more, you know, texture to him if you want to. I'm really sorry because his legs aren't uh, sewn up. But <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> he squash was... him back into his egg now. Oh, I'm he can, sit he can in go there. back in. He's all right. That's, that's Egbert. Um, so he's a lovely little uh, stegosaurus there and then what we're trying to do is use um, the zips in lots of different ways so lots of different techniques in here so if you go to the next one which is the cherry blossom pouch that one that you have yep. just by there that one's using both an open zip and closed zips oh interesting so that's a slightly different technique again and if you unzip that one what we mean by open zip is it comes all the way along and comes completely open like a jacket I can open this one. Yeah, it'll open completely it, like a jacket. Done it. There we go. Which then folds out and you've got oh, five Oh, wow. I didn't little, expect all that inside. Yep, you've got five little pouches in there as well. And again, that's one of my prototype ones. Your inside pouches go a bit further out and they're almost to the edge of the panel there. So you get much bigger pouches. So you've got four mini pouches yep. within that. So that's great as a little organiser for, for makeup, for threads, for all sorts of different things. What a clever things. idea. 
absolutely love it. What else have we got here? We've got okay, the so headphone we've got, case uh, next. Yes, the Lippy Zippy pouch. It's actually upside down over there. Is it? So the little pink one, if you turn it the other way up, it'll look like zip. It'll look like lips. Oh, I see. Yes, yes there, there it is. is. <laughs> There, oops. So that one's great. It's just a little one, so it's great for either a little coin purse or some headphones or yeah. something, or your little charger or something like that. So it's a really kind of cute little extra project in there. Lovely. The one that's standing up in the middle, this, this one? one's hilarious. Zip it open. It's so funny. Is it really? I've not looked at this beforehand, so I have no idea what's in here. What, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> And we made it vegetarian, <laughs> just in case anybody was, you know, we didn't want to offend anybody, so we made it a vegetarian one. Oh. <laughs> so it's, you know, oh. fantastic as a pencil case and, and things like that. But if you actually zip it all the way up, so take the zip right the way to the top, it creates a quite an interesting shape to it as well, because it's kind of flat on one side and then folded in the other direction on the other side. So it makes a really kind of fun uh, pencil case, that one. It does, doesn't it? I love yeah. that. I love that. Oh, lovely bright colours in there as well, of course, with your salad. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've got another one, though, haven't we? We've got another project here, the Triple oh, Zip. Oh, no, actually, the Triple Zip we're going to do as a demo. Are um, we? Not right now, but we're all going to do that as a demo. This one is the multi, this is the multi zip, and it's endless opening. I was going to say, there's one. more than three So there. no matter which one you use here, you'll be able to open that. How clever is this? These are <laughs> such it. fun, these ones. We've had a lot of fun with this one. Um, and there are a lot of zips in your kit. I think there's, oh, if you count them up, there's, well, there's at least One, 10 two, in there. Three, four, five, six, and your colours may not be identical to that. Your colours will vary a little bit, but there will still be a nice kind of variety of colours. You'll have 10 different <laughs> colour zips there. Um, you get the continuous zip for the tortilla one. And we'll show you how to work that continuous zip. <laughs> you can even make a little handbag look. <laughs> no, that it's is quite genius. fun, isn't it? It is, it's it really fun. is. I love it. Absolutely um, love it. Wow, we're busy. Almost 20% of the one day special is gone. Don't forget, you're getting everything we've just seen there. 12 projects within the Fabazine, another eight within the Zips. Uh, they are great, great projects as well. <laughs> you total up those individual prices and you will be shocked. I mean, they look amazing prices as they are for what you get in here. But yeah, 375 a project if you're going for the one day special. £74.98. It says there you've got a £10 saving, but actually if you go for the Fabazine or the Zips individually, there's already a £5 saving on those. They're carried over. We're giving you another £10 pound on top so that's 20 pounds in total so five one zero five eight five is the item number we do now, make these with a sense of humor though i mean i think people realize this now when because because we've got the ability to print those panels to print yeah. those bits of fabric we can do whatever we like on them <laughs> like we can put a salad in your pencil case <laughs> Can't wait to see what's coming next. <laughs> now, we do have a couple of happy hours we do. as well, Hayley. I have two happy hours for you. One is the alphabet number templates. Now, these oh, there is a picture of them. I think there's about 16 or 17 individual templates that you get. Oh, wow. But you're getting the large set and the small set. But because I've, well, we've absolutely covered the counter, um, <laughs> I'm just going to take you through a couple of the examples of how you actually make up the templates themselves. So letter B it says here you'll need these templates here so 1 2 8 10 15 yeah and then it says to cut them out what you'll need from your foreground color so your feature color in this case black and then what you'll need from your background color in this case white it tells you all the bits you need to cut out of each of the shapes and then the best way to sew them together to make assembly as easy as possible nice. and you have all of your letters in there you also have at the back all of your numbers as well so you'll be able Brilliant. to add letters and numbers to all of your projects the large size ones they finish as a 10 inch block okay yeah the smaller ones um i think they're a four and a half inch block that they make okay. as well so you can kind of work them all together but there are, everything is covered in there for you every single letter even though even my nemesis q which i had to make a special template for that was my nemesis q i just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't get that one to sit right but um, <laughs> we did it in the end we did it in the end of so that is did. one of your happy hours your other 
is this one here. It's one of our honor rolls and it's a Christmas one. Well, we say it's a Christmas one. That's not the right picture. Oh. I think it was done with, um, so possibly ignore that. That's the right picture. There we go. So it's that one that you're getting. It's, there's, I think there's three different pictures on the website because there were three different options. This right. is the only option that we have available. Okay. So it's a gold spot and it comes on three different backgrounds. It comes with a cream background, which is this one here. And then I'm going to very carefully try and prise these apart so you can see. Oh, we've got a red spotty one. Oh, nice. Proper and Christmas you've also red and got green. a green spotty one in there as well. You're getting 75 meters in total. That's 25 meters in each color. Amazing. That's a lot. That is an That's awful lot. lot. There's a huge saving for this <laughs> hour as well. 26 pounds saving. That price will revert to 65.97 at the top of the hour. You've got Flexi on it as, as well. Two payments of 19.99, 527203. Okay. So we are going to try and get through this one as quickly as we possibly can. This is the painter's pouch. So we have, let me just get all the separate bits. This is not my correct zip for this one. It's just the one that I had closest to me so I didn't have to go running off. Um, there are five different pieces to this one. So you've got one, two. Right, right there we go, let's get them all together. It's quite a big project, this one, so it's difficult to get them close enough together so you can see everything. So this is your main piece. This is going to be your outer piece. So I'm going to flip that over so you can see how this starts to go together. You've got two of the smaller pieces, one that is a square and then one that's got those rounded edges. Okay. You're going to fold both of those in half and just top stitch around the edges. We're going to cover all those edges in bias binding later okay, on, yeah. but that's just to kind of hold the shape. And you're going to do the same with this one. Pop it in half and again, just top stitch around those edges just to hold everything in place. So the next step is to actually start creating this whole piece and the background piece, because these are going to be top stitched onto here. So we need to create this piece first. So to start off, we're going to do what a lot of people would class as the worst bit first. We're going to get the zip in. Okay. So first thing you need to do when you're putting your zip in is work out which way you want that zip to be. So if I just turn this round so you can see, that's going to be the flap that will end up coming round over here. And when you come to put your zip in, always place your fabric that you're sewing onto face up. Then you're going to place your zip face down. Yeah. And all we're going to do is stitch along there. Normally, if you have got a lining for it, there'd be that would go face down on the top. And we'll go through that in more detail with other ones. Now, I'm just going to cut the excess of this zip off. It's way longer than I need, but it's the closest one to hand that matches. So okay. <laughs> that's the one we're getting. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is today. That's how it is. That's how it is today. I'm just going to grab my... It's good job you haven't got the prototype. Zipper foot. Then it would be very big yes, for the project. It would. This one is much, much bigger and it will fit an A5 um, pouch in it, an A5 booklet in it. So I'm going to line that up along the edge of the zip there. Drop that down. Just take that down to the back. And I'm going to go forward and reverse just to make sure that that's nice and solid on there. And then we're going to go nice and slowly, taking the pins out as we go, and stitch that. Oh, that's quite slow, though, isn't it? Let's uh, <laughs> <laughs> just speed up a little bit, maybe. That's we'll the be tortoise. here all night. I've got four of these to do. Okay, here we go. Another one out. You'll see how quickly this comes together. I might not get the bias binding on it, but um, that's kind of the easy bit. So we can we can kind of leave that for you guys to do we just need yeah. to show you the, and of course the that's provided juicy as bits, well isn't it we just need to show you the juicy bits so let's get to the end and again just reverse a couple of stitches on that just make sure it's nice and secure and okay, okay. so from there we press that out Okay, just as you're pressing that, I'm just going to let everybody know we are very busy on the phone lines. If you can make your way to the website or use the app, that might save you a little bit of time. But of course, we will get to you. We are extremely busy on the one day special. I'm not surprised when you look at the value for money. 
And then How to stop this Hayley? flapping about, we're going to take this back and top stitch it. So again, I'm just going to right. swap that back to my normal foot. Yep. And this machine and many others have quick release feet, or if you've had any of our uh, sewing machine feet sets, all got quick release feet. So you can kind of chop them and change them quite easily. Let me just get that underneath so it doesn't snag up. And we're going to do a little top stitch all the way across here. And what I'm doing is I'm using the uh, width of the foot between the zip and the fabric to just guide it and keep that top stitch nice and straight. Can you see how it just slides down yeah. that channel? And it kind of does the hard work for you there. And then we'll get to the end here. Oh, it's got to go faster. <laughs> I've got too much to sew. I can't go at the speed. Okay. So we are at the end. And again, just a couple of stitches backwards just to okay. make sure yeah. that that's nice and secure. We'll snip that off. And that's our top bit done. So I'm not going to snip those zips off yet because we, we just we don't need to, basically. Okay. Um, and I'd leave it there for as long as we can and then we can chop it when we need to. Yeah. So we're going to do the, exactly the same thing to attach it to the other half here. So let me just shuffle it along a little bit so we can get in. And then we're going to flip our fabric right side up, our zip wrong side up. But the thing to watch out for here is that you marry up either side of that flap to make sure it's straight oh, yes, with the piece you're going to attach it to. I'm going to pop some pins in there. And get that in. And we'll stitch this one in as well. And whoops, uh, nearly, nearly got that one stuck to there as well. So I'll top stitch, I'll put this in and top stitch it as well, exactly the same way. And then what we can do is we can start to kind of assemble the rest of it. And the rest of it, this is the hardest bit. This is your zip, this is the bit everybody dreads. And you've seen how easily that's gone in. Yeah. Your zip is, is not as long as this, but it is bigger than this. And the right. reason this goes in so easily is because the zipper part of it, the actual um, zip bit, is out of the way. And that means we're just sewing with that flat piece of tape. And Got that's you. what makes it yeah. so much easier. So again, switch that foot out. Lovely. And we'll pop the zipper foot on. And then put the fabric in. And away we go. Let's get that down. And what I've done is position the zip tape far enough forward that my foot isn't touching that bit of zip. And I that's say, the actual yeah. zip okay. bit that goes up and down. And that's what makes it so much easier. So a couple of backward stitches. Where's my foot pedal gone? Forward stitches. Uh, let's get rid of the pins. And off we go. Oh. To pull that back up a little bit. There we go. And then we'll do top stitching again. So, do you have any um, admin while we I just do we a can bit of top yeah. stitching? We will we'll, uh, come back to Haley in a second. Now, if you do want to go for the Fabazines individually, you can do that. Now, let's show you the details there. So, issue number eight, this has 12 projects in it. £44.99, you've got a £5 saving. That £5 does carry over to the one-day special. So, if you are going for that, you don't have to worry. You're not going to lose that £5. 370-565 is the item number. We also have the the zipper zine you know, or the fabazine with zips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we should have done. Also with the five pound saving, thirty nine ninety nine. This is where you'll find that lovely dinosaur, uh, the pouches, the salad. Oh, all those wonderful things are in there. Two zero four three eight eight is the item number. If you do want both, don't forget the five pounds from the fabazine issue eight and from the zips, both carried over. Plus, we're giving you another ten pounds on top, so that's twenty pounds in total. Seventy four pounds and 98 pence we can split that down though it does work out because of course you've got 20 individual projects there at 375 per project 510585 is the item number you've got two payments of 37 pounds and 49 pence if you want to split the cost you certainly can do if you are looking at adding anything else into your basket like happy hours or maybe some extra fabric we've also got that available as well you can split the cost there
Now, hopefully, Hayley's ready to continue. Are you, Hayley? Yeah, I'm just. Oh, you were not shaking well, your head. Then. I, I missed out on Zipazine, no. didn't I? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Zipazine, man. <laughs> I'm going to call it a Zipazine. Okay, right. So I'll worry about that later. Um, <laughs> so the zip's now in. I did exactly the same technique as we did on the first one. Stitch it in, top stitch it in place. And that top stitching, when you've got it sewn in, just helps it to kind of hold the zip in place. The, the, kind of, the rest of the tape of the zip yeah. is held in place and it doesn't flap about and it okay. doesn't fold over. So now that's in. The two pieces, the two long pieces, are going to be attached together. Now, when you come up to the other end, you'll notice you've got a little bit extra. We oh, do okay. leave you a little bit extra on this, and that's because when some people sew their zips in, it goes in a bit shorter or a bit longer. We got leave you. a little bit extra. You can always trim that away. Right. So what I'm doing is going all the way around here and just pinning all of this in place. Uh, so it, both of those layers are together and then I'm going to take off that excess piece with the scissors so okay. it's the same size. So as. wrong sides together because you're going to put that binding yes, around it's, the it's whole of gonna this. it's going to be bound around the edge this one so yeah. uh, we can work everything uh, with the wrong sides together. So there you go and we'll get the rest of the pins in. Now that what I um, mentioned about putting that book in, that A5 book, to make the kind of pocket that's going to take the back cover of the book so it'll sit in there, we're just going to fold that over. Now, because I don't want this to be a raw edge, what I will do is before I've put too many of my pins in, is actually just pop it right sides ah. together. And this will save me because you're not going to see the binding on yeah. this piece because it's going to be inside the, it's going to be holding the back cover of a book. So you're not really going to see this. So what we'll do is just put those right sides together, quickly whip across the bottom. Turn it back out. So it is how we had it. And with okay. a little press yep, so that's now, now, that's going to make the bottom of our, um, of our little kind of painter's pouch, which is going to hold in that A5 book, that's going to, that cover is going to slide into there yeah. and then you're going to be able to put your book into Lovely. there as well. So that's going to create our bottom pocket or where we're going to add that booklet. So what we're going to do is leave that folded over. Now I would definitely press this out properly and pro probably I would top stitch it as well just to hold that in place. Uh, you could do a decorative stitch if you've got one. You could have a decorative stitch if you've, if you've got one. Um, do you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it properly. There's no point in doing it if we don't do it properly, is there? I've got a quick uh, demo after this one because we've you? got the uh, the little um, toadstool one. That was, do you know, it was oh, the last project. That. that was the last project that I added to this one. Was it? And I think it's my favourite because it's my favourite because so of the ladybird. Funny. I just love the ladybird. <laughs> I had to make a really tiny ladybird for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pop this in and we'll just top stitch it. If we're going to do it, let's just do it right, shall we? Ooh, I've got caught there. Let me just get rid of that. Oh, I might need to just untangle that. Have you got some admin, Catherine? I certainly have. We can tell you about our happy hour deals again. Uh, in fact, this one, the Christmas on a roll, 75 metres. Let's have a look at the side of this. Huge saving. I can remember this without even looking. £26 saving on this. Now, you have got three different colours. You've got the... It's almost a cream with a gold spot on there. You've got the dark Christmas green with the gold spot, and you've got the red also. It is difficult to sort of prise these apart, but it is there for you. 75 metres. Two payments of 19.99. 527203. We've only got how many minutes left? 26 minutes left before the price goes back up to 65.97 that is a great buy it really really is now something else we've got for you as well is the sparkle fabric we've got uh, a lovely pick and mix fee here actually so choose any three for 17.99 you've got another 10 pound there half a meter any three so that's one and a half meters in total we did show you in fact i'm going to grab the sample um, you've got lots of different colours to choose from here. I'm going to be able to show you some of the different blues and greys. Oh, you get two bonus patterns with this as well. This is really, really nice. The sparkle is beautiful in it. 
If I just show you this bag again, so you can really see the sparkle in the fabric, do have a look at that pick and mix. Great value with that £10 saving. A couple more colours there for you as well. 185845 is the item number there. Right, Hayley, back to you if you're okay, uh, good to um, go. Yes, um, I have done it properly and I've top stitched it, so it's fine. <laughs> it just makes me happier. <laughs> okay, so the whole thing we're just going to pin together and then we're going to top stitch all the way around. But before we do that, we're going to add these pieces in as well. So these are going to be the extra pockets. So if we're going to make this as an, as an A5 booklet, what we need to do is make just lay an A5 booklet across yeah. it. Make sure we've left enough space for the spine to turn over as well. Okay. And then that's where the bottom of this next pocket will go. And if you uh, want to put the bias binding on here, you can. If you don't, what you can do is, again, do the same as we did with that one there and just put it face to face like that. Just a quick line of stitching across the top of there and then turn it right side out and press it and top stitch it and that will give you another option another look for having uh, the top of the pocket secured of course you can use the pouch for anything really but yeah absolutely great if you did we've know done it kind painter. of painty themed yeah well we thought we well, thought the kind of the craft alongs. has a notebook to write yeah, all his why not? appointments and things well, we thought with the craft alongs if somebody was kind of doing the little pictures that um uh matthew's been doing yeah then you could easily kind of, you know, store your bits and pieces in here. I'm thinking of a tradesman paint, <laughs> paint EC. Okay. That's what I'm thinking oh, of. Oh, you're thinking somebody I paints walls I know how busy they houses. get. I know from experience how busy they get, so they have to keep notes. Do you know, I'm hearing, do they not use their tablets? Like, no, they need a notebook, a good old-fashioned notebook. Do you think they have one of them flippy round notebooks? You know the ones that used to flip round yeah, and round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to fast. I think the oh, uh, milkman used to have one or something. <laughs> or the window cleaner used to have one. And it, it used to flip round and, like, it used to be able to flip. Do you know which ones I mean? I do know the ones you mean. And it used yeah. to fascinate me. It's like the Jacob's Ladder thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it used to fascinate my, me. My dad had one. He was an insurance man. <gasps> Did he have one as well? Yes. Oh, he must have been a posh insurance man then. <laughs> <laughs> We're just making our own entertainment tonight, aren't we? It's going to be one of those. <laughs> oh, this is the first of three hours Sorry, together tonight, I should tonight, be telling Hayley. you what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm not. I'm just making it, because I know I've got so many to do. OK, so I'm just top-stitching the top of that pocket exactly the same way as I did with the other one, and that gives me a really nice, solid, finished edge. So that, I'm going to assume my A5 booklet's going at the bottom here, so that it will fit in and fold over, and then my next pocket up is going to be there, this needs its um, bias binding on, which I'm, I doubt I'm going to get the time to do the bias binding in this one. So I'm going to just leave that off for a second. Okay. Because once the bias binding's on there, then I would just go ahead and top stitch that in place. But to be honest, this is best going on last because it's exactly the same width as the pouch. And if you put the bias binding on after you've sewn this on, then it will catch and you won't be able to get your pocket open properly. So that bit, I would definitely put on last. So now I just need to pin these in place and then I would take uh, just a little bit of time, stitch all the way around and hold these all in their proper places. And I would stitch along the bottom of here as well, just to keep that in position as well. And then once, oh, that's a very blunt pin. Let's get rid of that, that. I do have the prototype here as well, which obviously, again, when I do show this, this is a much smaller yes, version. That but one's we can in see a slightly different order. Yeah, that you can one. see actually. If I'm going to hold it horizontally again, just for the camera. In, we can put the pockets in, in theory, whatever order you, you prefer. But the only reason I've put mine at the bottom without the flap on is because that's where I would tuck that booklet in. This size would be great for a tradesman who isn't quite so busy because he only needs an A6 <laughs> notebook. Okay. <laughs> Well, you don't get that size in the Fabazine, so you've got to be busier. There you go. <laughs> okay, but maybe if you've got works like, maybe uh, it's not for a tradesman and you want to use it for a, a, a whip list, a work in progress list. Yeah. Whip list, that's what I mean, not yeah. a whip list, a whip list. Um, and then you can put your little booklet in there or maybe you're, you're journaling about your craft, you can pop that in there and then pop the bits in as you're going along. Brilliant for things like embroidery and things as well, where you're not needing huge amounts of space and maybe you can put all your floss in one and your, your bits of fabric and things in another. So 
I'm going to take this to the uh, machine, stitch all the way around that outer edge. But before I do that, one really important thing is make sure that your zip now is on the inside. So if you pin quite close to either side, so where just about where those top stitch lines are that we've just put in, in there. I, I'm trying to pin things. Hang on, I'll just I'll move it there. There you go. Pin either side of that zip and then move it into the center. Because if you saw the way around and your zipper part is left oh, out there, yeah. you're never going to get it open. <laughs> so you've sewed your zip on the outside. So you're going to slide that into the middle and then whip all the way around. I'll do that super quickly. Okay. And then the last thing we've got really to do is put the bias binding on. But that I think I'm going to have to leave you guys to do at home. And I need to get on with some more demos. Okay, right. Well, we are very, very busy. For the one day special, almost a quarter of the stock has already gone. Remember, with the one day special, you're getting the Fabazine issue eight that contains 12 projects, not just instructions, you get all of the materials that you need to create those projects. Then, of course, we do also have our Zipperzine, as we're calling it now. Uh, yeah, another eight projects in there for you. Really good fun projects as well. You can see those on the front cover. We do have the previous issues of the Fabazines all on the website as well. So if you've missed out on anything or if you want to have a look back to see if there's something that interests you, you can see those. But for tonight, it's issue number eight, £74.98. Remember, we're carrying over the savings from the individuals. That's £5 per magazine or fabazine so that's 10 pounds there another 10 pounds on top then we're splitting the cost for you if you want to take advantage of flexi two payments of 37.49 and the item number that you need is 510585 i'm thinking again here Haley. there's uh, 20 projects in the one day special that's 20 christmas presents it is it's 20 christmas presents yeah <gasps> three pounds 75 each that's all it'll cost you wow wow and it'll look like you spent a lot more it certainly will uh, i can hear the machine going it's very very busy at the other end of the counter as well we have seen those projects as we've gone down the counter you can see everything individually if you want them but the value for sure is in the one day special let's tell you all about our flexi <laughs> What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. There we are. It does make it easier. Do you know, while I'm here, I'm just going to open up one of the Fabazines because I know we haven't actually looked inside. These are brilliant because you've got full, beautiful colour photographs there of every single project that you're going to create. The step-by-steps, of course. You know, you can see everything in all the glory here. And you can keep this. You can use it again, obviously, with your own fabrics. Maybe you want to take patterns and templates. But, of course, they're printed on those panels creates you know you can see there the doll you can see the coasters all that print is there you just bring them to life with your stitching but such good ideas in here remember on this issue alone 12 projects absolutely incredible value it really is 510585 is the item number that you need i can hear that machine going really really fast at the moment hey, how are you getting out. on down there my bobbin ran out oh no a bobbin ran out don't forget the happy hours as well Happy hours, the price will go up at the top of the hour. I might have to run down the counter and get that roll, Christmas on a roll. Can I do that? Can I run off? Yes, I'll be back. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. There we are, incredible value again. £26 saving on this one. For this hour only, you can save that money in the yellow box that you see in there. 39.97, 75 metres in total. You've got the cream with the gold, you've got the green with the gold, and you've got the red with the gold as well. I'm trying not to destroy this too much, but just to prove that the gold is there. Oh, you can do so much with this, can't you, as well? 
Don't forget other things like our sparkle fabric as well. We've got that on a pick and mix for you. Lots of different colours, any half metre, three of them. Uh, so it's one and a half metres in total. That had a really, really good saving on it as well. So lots to choose from. And you can add those in with your flexi basket if you're going for the one day special. I'm hoping Hayley's getting close to being ready for the next part of the demonstration. She's had a little, little, um, a little problem with the bobbin because it ran out. <laughs> Yes. How are you getting on? Over well, because I've been I've been sewing with it all day, and then I oh, is it always tired? do this. Just don't remember to check. <laughs> then you oh, come on the telly and it's it got runs another out. hour to do. Make sure it's uh, it's had lunch before yes, eight o'clock. Oh, it ran out. So I'm just stitching all the way around the outer edge of this, and rather than using a quarter inch, I'm just using uh, an eighth inch all the way around because I want it to hold together. I want it to hold all those layers together and be it's kind of stable when I come to put the bias binding on, but I don't want to be able to see that stitching outside of the, the line of the bias binding. So that's why I have just, um, oh, oh, I zipped my zip back. Oh, oh no. no. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> you were lucky there. I was very lucky there. Like w literally one or two more stitches and I would have, I would have had it there. There and it's go. perfectly safe to sew over a nylon zip like that, is it, Hayley? Yes, absolutely. What you'll find is, if you go nice and slowly, what will happen is your um, needle will kind of, if it hits something, it'll kind of just move to the left or move okay. to the right, and it'll sit around it rather than um, uh, causing you any problems whatsoever. We've got lots of zip sewing to do in the next couple of uh, next couple of shows, so we'll, I'm sure we'll have plenty of techniques to come to for that. <laughs> Let's just get these out. And then I'll get it to a stage where all you've got to do is kind of bias bind it and, and finish it off. But you'll be able to see the kind of the whole construction of it coming together really, really quickly. And where I'm using my kind of eighth inch here, I'm just using the toe of the foot on the sewing machine and the needle in the center just to kind of guide it around there. It's nice because you could set yourself a challenge of a project today, couldn't you? You pardon? You could set yourself a challenge for a project today, and that'd be you could. really Absolutely. nice to do. Absolutely, you could. Oh, maybe we need to make an advent calendar one. Oh. 24 projects. <gasps> that is a good idea. Oh. Bridget's <gasps> going to go mad. I think, I think <laughs> though, what you might have to do is have the quicker projects at the start of the month. No, other way around. No, the, yeah, the harder ones at the, the beginning. Ones at the so start if you have to run yeah. over a day, then you can. And then the ones that take longer towards the end. That's right. such a good idea, I like that. I'll, I'll get on it. Not right now, I'm busy right now. <laughs> but after. In, in, in the in between. In between. Yeah. In between, yeah. No problem. You've got no bear to do. You've got ages. <laughs> you've, got, you've got in between uh, seven and eight off, Hayley. Yeah, and then I've got two hours back to back, Catherine. <laughs> Give us a break. I'll do it tomorrow, thank you. <laughs> Dear me. They work me hard here. Really hard. <laughs> I'd like a nap, if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I'd had time for a nap this afternoon. Can you I nap? really do. do you, are you able to do that? Can you nap? Yeah, I don't sleep very well at night, but if you if I've got half an hour, I really? can usually oh, I go and have half an I hour. Wish I could do that. I but can't if you like it. say, right, it's bedtime now, you've got to sleep for eight hours, no chance. I'm quite I'm quite often found wandering about and I'm always the first one up with the ducks. <laughs> I go and let, they usually go and let them out about half past five, six o'clock, and then come back to bed for a bit. Oh. <laughs> right, we're done. Well, this is, as, this is as much done as this particular one is going to get because we uh, need to get way more in. So the last finishing touches on this is to snip off that excess zip. Yeah. And yours won't be as much as that, but if you do have excess zip, hang on to it. We're going to use it in the uh, embroidery doodle that is in the zip one and then cut the bit off the other side. And then we're gonna just put bias binding all the way around that edge, not across this bottom edge, but just kind of up to the bottom of there. And then that will fold in and that will fold in. And that actually, that could probably fold up a little bit more. There you go. That can fold in, that can fold in. And that will make your pouch. Lovely. Once you put the bias binding on, then the last thing to do is bias bind this as well. And then just go ahead and top stitch that in place which I'm going to put on my second pouch there. But you can have it on either one, yeah. and then you can decide which one you want your book to go into. Love it. So that one, 
I'm going to call it done. It's not quite done, but we're going to call it done because we've got many more to do. We to certainly move on. have. Can we move straight on to the next one then, Hayley? Yes, toadstools. Oh, yes, I've forgotten about this. Tiny, tiny toadstools. So uh, for <laughs> this, what we're going to do is we're going to place these face to face. Yeah. Like that. And we're going to sew them all the way around. So if you, there's no um, line on this. Sometimes we put a, a line for you to follow, but um, it's quarter inch seam where we do most things to a standard quarter inch seam. So I'm going to just quickly whiz around this, but I'm going to leave a gap in the bottom so we can turn it right side out. So I'm going to start about there. Yeah, that'll do. So back a couple of stitches because we're going to be turning this right side out. Back one. There we go. And all the way around. Now this is measured out. So if you use a quarter inch seam allowance, this should sit perfectly with um, the gap in between the bobbin. We measured a lot of bobbins, apart from the kind of tall ones. These are all much, uh, much of a kind of standard size, the bobbins. So this should fit a lot of different um, brands as long as it's one of the short stumpy ones, not one of the tall skinny ones. Okay. But having said that, the top piece should fit any because the, um, the, usually the hole in the middle is all the same. I'm just going to put another kind of half of yeah, stitch Yeah, the top is there. made to sort of stand over the edge of the base of the toaster to make it look there like a toaster. Let's find that ladybird. Where's it gone? <laughs> it's cute oh. though, isn't it? Well, originally we'd just <laughs> done the top bit to go in any bobbin that you're using because that comes out, it's got a little kind of um, um, like a dowel peg on yeah. it and that will fit into all of your, um, not I've called toadstools, I don't mean toadstools, <laughs> I mean uh, spools, that's what I mean. Um, it will fit into any of them so you'll be absolutely fine to use that with whichever Love one it. you want. But then I thought, well it needs a bottom bit to match, doesn't it? It needs a bottom bit. So from there, we're going to trim those corners off and it's really important to double trim these because we need these to be nice and sharp. So we're going to do the same all the way around. It actually is easier on some of these because you've got such a, um, a small amount of fabric here is actually just to take um, a, like an extra bit of the seam allowance off all the way around, which okay. is what I'm going to do because I think it's going to make it a lot quicker. There we go, and off here, off here, and then I'm going to come a little bit of the way along here, but I leave myself a good Hayley, bit for turning in. When you wrap this around the bobbin, mind you, don't really need to be taking it on and off. But I was going to say a little bit of the hook oh, and eye fastener you could. Yeah, you it could, with. but especially that would be good if you have um, a bobbin that's still got thread on it. Yeah, and then it would stop it unraveling for you. Of course. So I'm aware that we haven't got a huge amount of time left, so I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as I can. This just just going to turn right side out. Now I'm going to do this with my scissors, which you definitely should not do. You should use something that's plastic and can't actually go through the um, stitches or go through the fabric itself. But let me just push that through. And then that's your little wrap that goes around the outside. And then to make the top, we are going to um, I don't know if I've got the little disc in front of me here, but I'll see if I can... Have you got one of the little discs over there, Catherine? One of the little discs? A little MDF disc uh, mm, that comes with the kit. Let me see if I can find one. Mm. No, I don't. Ooh, I've just definitely. got the fabric and the ribbon. Uh, have you got any in the big Fabazine one, then? In the big Fabazine one? Oh, would it be... I think I might have found one. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do. So this then needs pressing and it needs pressing kind of quite well to get it nice and flat, ready to go around that bobbin. And then to make the um, toadstool part, I'm going to take some thread. Did you need the dowly bit as well, Hayley? Um, yeah, go on then. If you, if you fancy it, yeah, go on then. Um, just looking for a needle because I had a needle that was threaded and ready but that seems to have vanished which is always the way so we will go with this one and just grab a bit more thread from here. Oh, 
Okay. It's always the worst Just so everybody is aware at home, that was, that was our Jack's doing. hand that you saw come into shot then. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're going to do for here is we're going to use doubled over thread because we are going to pull this quite tight. So it is quite important to, to double this over. And you want to work about um, an eighth of an inch from the edge. So we're going to stitch round all the way around as a running stitch. This may get finished in the next hour because I don't think I'm going to have enough time because what you're essentially going to do is create, create a Suffolk puff uh -oh. and then put a little bit of stuffing within it. And that's what creates that little domed top. So if you can see that starting to kind of form around there, this will go in the center. You'll put your stuffing in first. That'll go in the center. But you do need to glue that dowel peg in first. Right. So glue the dowel peg yeah. into there. Leave that, I would say, overnight to okay. be on the safe side. And then we'll keep going around with this. And what I would advise you to do, actually, is once you've gone all the way around, pull it back out a little bit so you've got a really good length of thread on this end because then it's much easier to secure it by knotting it together. Oh, that's a good point. I'm not going to... I'm going to run out of time, Catherine. Oh, no. I've taken the little top off my toaster so I can show everybody. <laughs> but really, really easy to put together and um, it's not going to take you long at all, this one, but you do get enough to make two within the kit so um, you can have two mini toadstool pin cushions. Oh, and they both have ladybirds on, don't they, Hayley? Do they? Let's just look at the little toadstool top first of all, so you can see where the dowel comes through. You can see where that fabric has all been gathered. Of course, you've got the stuffing in there as well. The base goes around, or the base that's been created goes around the reel, and then, of course, that just sits together beautifully. Very, very useful. I do like that a lot. Oh, just one of the projects in the Fabazine, of course. Details on the screen, by the way, for the one day special, 510-585. Hayley is back at eight o'clock. <laughs> done. She's pulling faces now. Have we done yeah, it? Yeah, because I was because I was just pulling it together to, to finish it, but we've only got 15 seconds, so we're not going to see it. Oh. I'll do it later. We'll there find. it is. There you go. Wonderful. Oh, <laughs> Hayley, we will see you back at eight o'clock. Don't go anywhere, though. We've got another fantastic hour ahead. Check out those happy hours. Quick, quick, quick.